Hi, this is Dan of Maze from dunksweb.com. Uh, you may remember a little while ago I uploaded a video about Tweet My PC, uh, which is a piece of software that you can use to control your desktop or laptop PC uh, from Twitter. Now, it was in its kind of early stages and it didn't really work that well, um, and I kind of completely forgot about it um, until a couple of days ago, and I thought, yeah, I just wondered if it was still. Uh, in, in development or if they had killed it off completely or you know what was actually going on with it so I had a look and they're actually in version 3 now um, with Vista and 7 support 64 bits of support support sorry um, and it also has it says it has fast reaction more features and better security so I downloaded it to check it out and see if it actually does work now um, the good news is, is that it does work um, it doesn't work perfectly but it works fairly well it looks it, it works a lot better than the original version that I did the original video on so this is kind of a response to that video so as you can see I've been um, playing with it already and, and putting some commands in um, and I've just used a kind of generic Twitter account to do this uh, if you go onto the Tweet My PC website you'll find a list of commands that are already built into the application so Generic things like shut down, restart, standby, hibernate, lock, log off. Um, interesting things like OS and IP information that will actually tweet back to your account and tell you um, what uh, you know what OS you're using or what your IP address is. Screenshot is quite an impressive command um, because it not only does it take a screenshot of your PC, but it also automatically uploads it to TwitPic. Uh, you really don't have to do anything. Uh, so if you if you fancy uh, seeing what someone's doing on your PC, I, I think it's kind of good if you've got younger siblings and they ask to use your PC and you're a bit uh, dubious as to what they're doing. You can, uh, on a mobile device or something, to tweet out the word screenshot. It will take a screenshot without them even knowing that anything's going on, as long as the client's running, obviously. And then you can go straight up on TwitPic and have a look and see uh, what they're actually doing which is kind of cool. Also you can do things like wallpaper. You can change your desktop wallpaper. So if you're on a mobile device and you're browsing through images and you find one that you think would work quite well on your desktop then literally you, you, you type wallpaper and copy and paste the URL of the image into there and tweet it out and by the time you get back to your desktop um, your wallpaper will be changed to the one that you, you, you wanted it to be. So loads of cool stuff and there's loads of others. I'll provide a link to this list uh, so you can see what each of them do. Now, um, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of things that you can do with it but before we do that I just wanted to show you how to add a custom command. Um, you can add a custom command for anything on your computer. Um, I'll just show you how to do it. So I'll go to edit, set, edit settings and go to settings and custom commands and this is what you want to be in. Now see I've got one for Spotify here I'm actually going to remove that one uh, and do it from scratch so Spotify is going to be the command name now this is what you what you tweet out so you want this to be you know quite short or, or whatever uh, then you select the file so you, I'm just going to select the the exe file there the application and that will give you the file path and then you just press add command, it's that simple. So it'll put those two things together. Um, you then go save and hide. It will save that command and every time you tweet that command out you'll, uh, you'll, that custom command will launch whatever you want it to launch. Right, so let's, let's try something. Um, you see here it says running custom command. Um, this is a kind of like a test tweet because it will be running uh, the Spotify command um, in a sec so I'm just going to delete that for a second uh, you may find that Spotify will launch up or whatever your custom command is will, will launch up okay so if we go over to TwitPic you see I've got no uh, images in here at all at the moment uh, I don't want you to think that I've taken the image before and we'll also check the time. Here we go, here's Spotify. So that's just a test to see if the custom command is working. Um, so 
I'll just talk about this quickly as it's done it now. Uh, the custom commands are a little bit slower than the commands that are already built in, uh, but they do work. So you see that was about uh, maybe a minute between actually setting up that custom command and it actually working. So um, it, they do take a little bit longer, but still, no, you know, nonetheless, it works. Okay, so back to TwitPic. So you see, I've got no images in here at all. Uh, we're going to go to Twitter, and I'm just going to type screenshot. Oops, and tweet that out. So now the command's gone out. Um, now the client will be looking for new tweets, and it will take the tr the screenshot, um, and then literally go over to TwitPic, and it will be there. So if we go over to TwitPic now, I'll refresh. And it's not quite there that yet. There it is. Okay, so it literally takes about thirty seconds, I would say. Um, then you can click on this and see the image. Um, if I go full size, we can check the time, and you'll be able to see. Hopefully, that it says three ten there. It's now three eleven. Okay. Sorry, one one ten and one eleven there. So that was done in you know in completely real time. So other things like um, let me just find one here. Um, volume mute is is quite a, a fun one to try out. So V O L mute will mute the main speaker. So if I go to Twitter again and go to V O L mute, oops, V O L, v -O -L mute, tweet that out. Then you should find, if we look down here, that my speakers should mute fairly soon. Again, it takes about 30 seconds, I'd say. Um, the built-in commands are normally around 30 seconds, the, um, the custom commands are normally around a minute. Um, so, you know, it, it's not instant, it has to kind of keep checking. As you can see there, it's now done, it's now muted my speakers. So there you go, that's the response to my original video. It's TweetMyPC, you can get it at uh, tweetmypc.coplex.com. I'll put the links in the description uh, for the um, command list as well so you can have a look for yourself and see what it does and see if it will be useful to you um, but this video basically is to show you that it does work and it works pretty well okay thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you later